morning friends and once again welcome from sharestradingschool.com today 5th march 2020 uh, we have discussed about nifty in last session uh, wherein we told that um, we are at consolidation phase and uh, uh, if you look at monthly chart we have uh, just crossed that 20 ema and uh, nifty will try and spend some time around this 20 ema testing and retesting again and again support at 20 so uh, as we said that in uh, as, as far as uh, previous month is concerned it has just penetrated that 20 ema and close below that that is where a uh, cause of a concern However, in shorter time frame, market is in um, uh, oversold condition and probably the diversion which we could see in RSI in early chart just suggests us that there will be a recovery. Uh, and that is what we can see it in monthly chart that recovery uh, is trying to taste that support. Though it has not uh, yet crossed that 20 EMA, uh, currently it is still trading below 20 EMA. So probably market will try and just uh, once again test a resistance around that 20 mn which is um, if you look at this current situation it is uh, around at 11,300 so probably 11,300 level rather 11,310 which is the current level of uh, your 20 EMA will be a major resistance and unless market crosses above that uh, we will not uh, think that that recovery has started yet. So 11,310 is a crucial level uh, for Nifty to uh, remain above and if we sustain above that uh, for a few days then certainly we will say that yes market has tested the support at uh, 20 EMA in monthly chart. Um, what it suggests in uh, weekly chart, if you look at weekly chart we are at 100 EMA which had, a, a, which had given an excellent support in the past and probably at this moment uh, it is just uh, testing again at uh, 100 EMA. Uh, so two time frames are showing uh, support uh, as far as uh, uh, monthly is 20 EMA, weekly is 100 EMA. So we are, indeed we are expecting market to recover and that recovery should take as far as weekly chart is concerned um, uh, 250 EMA which is around 11,600. So if market sustains above 11,310 then obviously market may go to 11,600 level but before that it will face various uh, resistance uh, maybe that resistance is previous low uh, price accumulation uh, had happened in past in this zone so it is quite difficult for market to immediately go to 11,600 level and even if it happens remember that we will be in consolidation phase because as far as price setup is concerned it is trapped in moving averages and so it will certainly spend some time like in past when it had come to 100 EMA it had uh, tested 250 EMA resistance and 100 EMA support for almost 8 to 9 weeks. So um, once price comes to this level, uh, certainly market goes in consolidation and spends a um, few days, rather few weeks. Uh, so it is, this will, you will see that this is almost a 3 month market spent in this uh, area. So this will happen um, in current situation also. Uh, as far as trend is concerned, if you plot a trend line from this uh, uh, this zone, then uh, clarity will come unless market crosses this uh, trend line north. Uh, obviously, uptrend will not start. So in my view, uh, this trend line which I have just plotted, I'll just remove this trend line. Um, this trend line which you can see this is very important for market unless market crosses this uh, defensive uh, buyer should not enter uh, this area uh, unless market crosses this trend line now coming to further shorter time frame as we have discussed 11,308 uh, 10 uh, is a crucial level let market cross that then we will think of going along and uh, that's what actually even if you want to see when we have plotted in hourly chart uh, you can see that 11,300 which is this current level and this 20 EMA in hourly chart is also somewhere around it so uh, I'll suggest uh, rather my uh, uh, trading strategy it will be by above 11,310 and that time 11,600 which I said will be a next target but obviously before that there will be a resistance this trend line will give a resistance 11,450 will again uh, area where market will face a major resistance rather it will just above that 11,462 which is a very crucial level so you just remember this number 11,462 will be a major resistance for nifty uh, so 11,310 crosses then 11,462 will be a major resistance and 
further if it continues that recovery. Then 11,600, which we discuss as far as weekly chart is concerned, and that area is actually 11,594 will be another resistance. So these two targets we can uh, consider 11,462 and 11,594, which are as per our early chart. So in that case, we will keep our stop loss below 11,030. So if in case market crosses 11,030 down, then we will square off our all long positions. We will go long above 11,310. Target will be 11,462 and second target will be 11,594. Mm, this will be high risk trade. We will be trading in a recovery. We won't be, this is not a uptrend. So only compulsive traders should trade in this market. So thank you very much. friend. before that, I'll just suggest you about uh, one more thing. Um, this recovery will, I think, will lead by pharma industry because if you look at uh, pharma industry chart, most of them, like including JV Chemical and all, are giving a comparatively a very good and bullish pattern. If you look at uh, a few charts in a pharma industry like uh, Ajanta Pharma or Tron Pharma or Aro Pharma or for that matter JV Chemicals, uh, it, it is showing a, a comparatively strong support. It has tested a support, a strong support, and it has just crossed previous uh, swing high. And uh, this pattern is actually um, a good pattern to uh, consider for a bullish uh, trend. So uh, keep eye on pharma industry while uh, trading in NFT. Uh, thank you very much, friends, for watching this video. I'm wishing you best luck. Good day.